Apparently, this was one of the guys that was in the car with Fulio. He said he got shot eight times in the arm and head. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is the cleanest I've ever seen a who got shot eight times a month ago. Like, this looks this look like he has... Like he hasn't even got a razor burn, like or nothing. I ain't taking serious. Yeah. So I was like seventeen. Hold on. But it seemed like people thought it was impossible to really pop until they seen like the soldier K's. Hold on. Let, let's get to um, I ain't gonna say there really no party when I got there. No, nah, it was like okay, a good mood. You feel me? Dog was in a good mood. He's want to celebrate his birthday. So shit, everything was great. Yeah, and. Did you did you make it to the Airbnb the pool party or you came later than that? Um, I ain't gonna say there really no party when I got there. No, nah, it was like everybody was just chilling. And then he hadn't yeah. made everybody get up, take shots, and all that. Okay, all about it. You saw my folio here. So later that night, y'all go to the after party, the club. Yeah. Okay, what was that like? What was how was y'all acting? Fulio was turning up and shit. Y'all was with the the females and shit. By the way, I, I do have to interject and add, yo. I don't know how the younger or, or I don't know how some people process trauma, bro. It's impossible that somebody dies within feet or like a few feet of you, and you get shot so many times, and I'm doing an interview. Like, you know what I mean? Again, especially if you're somebody who's not in that life. You're, you're not even like a public figure like that. This guy's doing an interview <laughs> about like a rapper getting murdered a couple feet from him and him getting shot eight times. I was even shocked by his mom doing an interview. This is kind of like we're in a new age of like media where it's no matter what the situation is, we're going to have an, a full interview about it. We're having killers Guys who the guy who killed Pop Smoke, he's detailing everything about damn. Yeah, we were chilling. I wasn't really I was just like on beat. I was just watching everything. I wasn't really too much in tune with everything that was going on as far as like having fun. I was just on beat, like just watching everything. I ain't really no club type. Like I don't like the club. Being outside of Jacksonville, being in Tampa, do is that like a place where you kinda don't have to look over your shoulders and you can, you know, it's kind of like a vacation. Definitely. Definitely. I, I, I definitely felt a lot safer all the time because we hadn't been up uh, before, you feel me? And it, it was great. So you feel me? Definitely. So after the party, well, after the club, y'all head back to, to Holiday Inn and, mm. uh, so what happens. You know, we seen it on a surveillance. Um, are you in the same car as Fulio? Yeah. Okay, so Fulio's in the passenger side. Are you be you're behind him? Nah, I was in the driver's seat. Okay, you were Oh wow. Hey, by the way, I think this is a guy Remo was was um was trying to get him on our stream. Remember that day? Remo was trying to get this guy on our stream. And, and I was I was thinking Remo's capping. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to get the driver? Like, nigga, you see how many bullets got fired into that car? There ain't no driver. <laughs> I'm like, yo, the driver is, is the driver's last stop is heaven or hell. Like, like the driver is out of here. What are you talking about? This is the driver of the car. Bro, look at this car. Look at this goddamn car. Nigga, it, bro. This nigga fat too. Bruh, every bullet is going at the driver. Look. Look at this. Nigga, this is crazy. Un un unless they were shooting this side and they were shooting the bullets, the bullets hit here, but they were all going this way. But if, if it, yeah, I guess nobody was directly in front of the car. But still, wow. If I was this guy, I'd be in church. Bro, only God saved your life. You were the driver. Yeah. Okay. Can you take us through, through that moment, driving into the Holiday Inn, if you don't mind? 
Um, we weren't at the Holiday Inn. We were at the Dota. Home but too. You was at the home too. It was. I ain't really like I said. We out of town, so I wasn't really thinking much. You feel me? So we get to the. We got to the hotel. Um, went in. The rooms was already reserved, but I guess they had like a a glitch in the system or something, so they ain't let us get the room. So then he came back out to the car and we was just chilling, basically. Trying to figure out like where we was finna go. So basically y'all were just chilling outside the Holiday Inn when the whole glitch in the system. Yeah, we was just sitting in the car on our phone looking for another hotel. Okay. And how long was that for? Do you know? Wait, wait, hold on. Is that Basically, what? the hotel. Okay, you were the driver? Yeah. Okay. Can you take us through? You feel me? So we, get to the, we got to the hotel, um, went in. The rooms was already reserved, but I guess they had like a, a glitch in the system or something. Hey, Chad, I was going to bring this up the first night I covered this, and don't ask how I know, because I done try to check into a lot of hotels. I'm sorry. Hey, if y'all, if y'all like, trust me, I know, this is the thing. Most hotels, I this is a secret about hotels. Most hotels have like about two hours of dead time where their system changes over. It's usually between three and five. So if you, if you go to a hotel, even if you have a reservation, you can't literally, they can't access their systems. Trust me, I know this because I've I've been with a ting and I'm I hit five hotels and they're all saying the same thing. Hey, well we can't really do nothing right now. Like uh, uh the system is changing over between three and five. Trust me, I promise you, it's not a glitch. It's not a glitch. He's he's interpreted it as a glitch. I promise you, this is the thing. Anybody that works in hospitality at hotels know what I is talking about. For the hotels I go to around three and five, if you go between that time, sometimes it's earlier. It might be two. When you go at that time, they'll tell you the system is down. It's not down. It's that the system is changing over days. And I don't know what the system has to do, but they stop all transactions. You can't book nothing. You can't check in. And they almost do like, it's like a self audit. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, anybody in that works in hospitality will know this is true. When I first, when I first watched this and I said, oh, they were just sitting outside of a hotel. I, I figured it was two things. Anybody also, if you be having things, you, you know this too. If you try to get into a hotel, right? If you try to get into a hotel on a weekend, a lit hotel or like a hotel around a downtown area, after about 9 p.m., it's going to be sold out because everybody's trying to fuck a bitch for the night. Everybody who went to the club, that yeah, they're going to be sold out. So even if they're usually available on weekdays, after on a Friday, once it's the weekend, if you don't book that room for that night early on, it's sold out. So I was thinking that maybe they were just trying to drive from hotel to hotel, try to get a room. But most of them hotels are going to be um, um, sold out, which that's why they're probably just at that hotel waiting to find Google or Maps a, a fucking another hotel. Or it was the thing he's talking about, the glitch. It's not a glitch. It's 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 a system turning over. That's a fact. Uh, somebody just said it. PMS updating. Okay. I guess you work in the hotel system. Somebody said gas stations too. Okay, I, I don't know about gas stations. Okay, thank you. Thank you. See? See? All right. A, a lot of people uh, seem to be... Uh, somebody said not the Super 8. Yeah, because they just going to take cash, nigga. <laughs> Y'all went to a motel. Yo, this is way back in the day. Nigga, I went to a motel, nigga. I guess they, they knew what niggas was on. Nigga, they asked me how many hours. This, I was like, hours? I was like, I don't even work for the night. I said, four hours. And then they were like, oh, you get it for four hours, you can do for 12 it's like four hours. That's all I need, gang. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that's why motels are good. Four hours, gang. All right, anyway. So they ain't let us get the room. Oh, okay. Somebody says it's property management system update. Thank you. Thank you. Property management system update. That makes sense. I was going to say it the first night we covered it um, because I just know I've ran into that, but that, that's just my anecdotal experience more than me known as a fact. Now I'm known as a fact. So oh, okay. And, oh, King Grave 2... To you says it's called a night audit. Yeah, that, I've heard it kind of being referred to that night audit. It said it's rolling the day over. Okay, okay. Thank you for that. Okay. 
And he came back out to the car and we was just chilling, basically. Trying to figure out like where we was finna go. So basically y'all were just chilling outside the Holiday Inn when the whole glitch in the system. Yeah, we was just sitting in the car on our phone looking for another hotel. Okay. And how long was that for? Do you know? Probably probably like six, seven minutes. Okay. And then that's when the fire, the, the shots are fired. Not right at that moment, no. Okay. But later that, a few moments later. It, it's interesting to note when he's talking, there's just moments he's like looking down. And as a viewer, it feels like th that's a traumatic like replaying of that, that scene. Just, just look at his eyes. Okay. And then that's when the fire, the, the shots are fired. Not right at that moment, no. Yeah, yeah, you can just see it. Okay. But later that... A few yeah, that look right there is just like, that moment is replaying in his mind, is vivid. Them gunshots he's hearing again, you know what I mean? God bless his soul too, you know what I mean? He survived. Moments later, that's when the shots go out? Yeah, probably like five minutes later. Okay, so now he's basically attesting that they were just sitting ducks. So they're just sitting somewhere for five minutes, but they're probably thinking they're safe. If we go back to the surveillance footage, they're under that little like impasse thing at the Holiday Inn. There's mad lights shining on them. It's not like they're in a dark corner. They're thinking they're good. Mm. What's going through your mind at the time? As they were shooting. Yeah. Shit, I just want everybody to make it home. So on, on the surveillance, I could tell that I could see that you like sped off. Yeah. And then it was two guys ahead. Um with their with their weapons. Um the reason why I also ask about these guys like doing these interviews so so quickly after, I think these guys need an attorney. And I know you might be like, oh, they're victims. Well, what what if they had guns in the car? What if they had fired shots back? Like, you know, a lot of times when, like, I know they're victims, but the police want this back and forth to stop. Even though they're victims, the mere fact they survived, they're more likely to be the people that retaliate. So the police are going to keep a close eye on him and are probably going to be targeting him. So you kind of want to have like an attorney or somebody to make sure that you're saying the right things. And even like, I know you want to tell the story, but other than to tell it to investigators, and even then you want to still be a little bit careful because you're, you're in this life. You're not just a civilian victim. Um, or I'm guessing he's in this life. I'm making assumptions, I guess, with that. You don't want to get on an interview and just say things that could get you jammed up later. I'm, I'm wondering if they talk to an attorney. And how many times were you shot? I got shot in my arm eight times. I got grazed in my head three times. What? Mm. Did you feel like you were going to make it that night? They said I got shot in my arm and take a vape hit. Yo, this nigga's tough. This is a tough nigga right here. Yeah, dog. What do you do next? After the shooting. Um, after I stopped the car, I just, you feel me? My first thought was to check on everybody. Make sure everybody was good. Was Fulio responsive right there on the scene? Nah. Mm. And, and then what do you... Yeah, he was already going. Jeez. What, what's next? The police come? Or, you know, are you... Are you staying calm? Are you... Are you angry? Like, what's your emotions like at that time? Shit, like... In the moment, I ain't even gonna say like, I ain't even gonna say like I was scared or nothing. You feel me? Like, cause this. I'm, by the way, I could imagine, you know, we've seen a jump cut here, and I know Sean is pretty good at his job. I think the question I would have wanted to know, because we saw the car come to a stop in that parking lot, and if the driver is still alive, we're assuming the driver got killed. 
or we don't know if the car got immobilized. We would want to know why not drive out the parking lot. Like if you're the driver and there's been a barrage of bullet, 80 bullets maybe, right, that got fired into that car, you're still alive. I wouldn't even think I'm safe to just leave the car in that parking lot unless you couldn't move. And I would have tried to drive it out, like, to somewhere. Like, nigga, we're just driving, right? Um, and then also, I would probably ask, how did he know that the guys weren't just going to, like, if the cars just come to a stop, that the guys weren't going to come back and just, like, make sure they're all finished, right? Saying the situation, like, went and nothing new to me. So it was just like... Like I, I hate this about street niggas. Come on, bro. Like, you could just say you were scared, bro. Like, come on, nigga. You about to lose your life. Yo, I ain't going to say I wasn't scared. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Like, you're, we're humans. We're humans. Nobody's a demigod. There's no voodoo that could just make you non-human. We're human. I say, you feel me? I just had to handle it accordingly. Shit, I tried to. My first thought was to pull um, full out of the car. But then I realized my arm was broke. And he wasn't responding, so you feel me? In my mind, I'm just like, damn, you feel me? Make sure you just get the fuck out of the car, make sure ain't nobody, make sure they ain't trying to come like finish. Okay, okay. You feel right. me? So right. I ran in the hotel to get help. Man, I know we spoke the other night, and I'm like, damn, this thing done hit the vape with both hands. Like, damn, this thing got shot eight times in the hand, and he, he just he vaping like this. Man, it's a real nigga. You were grazed three times in the head, right? Yeah. What is? I've never been shot before. Uh, what? How does a graze is when a bullet like it? It's it's kind of like a. It's kind of it's kind of like like a little swipe, kind of like getting scratched. Like it was kind of like getting scratched type shit. Okay, three times, man. Man, bro, you here for a purpose, bro. Like Definitely. eight times in the arm, three times grazed in the head. Do you? Does it feel like you got shot in the head? Nah, nah. It just be like I be feeling when I chew or something. Like yo, this nigga, yo, this is the toughest nigga I've ever seen. Yeah, it's some regular shit. Yeah, it just feel like a scratch. I feel like one of them itches. I don't really. I be getting like little pains and I be chewing, but other than that, no, I don't really be feeling like that. Was anybody else in the car at the time? Yeah. yeah. There was two people. Uh, one was a girl or two was a girl. And they were shot as well. Yeah, you got graves in his shoulder. Mm. You get taken to the hospital. Do you feel like you're not gonna make it? Nah, at that point I hadn't like kind of assessed the situation. Okay. I hadn't calmed myself down, you feel me? I was just, I really honestly and truthfully, I wouldn't even think about myself in the moment at all. I was just in my head like, you feel me? I'm just telling myself, like reassuring myself like, Bro, all right, bro, good. That's all I really was telling myself. I went, I went even think about me, really. Right. Cause at this time you're not sure hundred percent that Fulio passed. You just he's just not responding. I ain't even gonna say I wasn't sure. I was just in denial. Like mm. they told me on the scene, but I just I, I wasn't finna believe it. So I just, you feel me? I was just reassuring myself, giving myself good thoughts, you feel me? Putting good karm in there. As days go by. Wait, wait, did we get clipped on YouTube? Wait, did we get clipped on YouTube? What just happened? That wasn't copyright, was it?
I know I'm back now. I just want to make sure it's not copyright. Let, let me speed this up a little bit. Sorry. You know what's going through your mind? Could, Shit. Remorse, guilt. Hold on, hold on. I, I could make sure it wasn't copyright. Hold on. Usually they send an email as soon as it happens. Nah. I don't know what happened. What the fuck? Blame. Really? You put the blame on you? I mean, definitely. I was the driver. You feel me? Like I said, in my head, my main purpose was to get us home, and I didn't do that. So I definitely blame myself at first. You've had a lot of people, you know, call you and talk to you. and Yeah. Tuesday, four people get arrested. And then another one that, well, three people get arrested, then another one did that night. Um, what was your feelings how do you feel when you seen these people get caught? Tell you the truth, I ain't really think nothing of it, really. I ain't really, I ain't really think nothing of it. I really wasn't even on social media that day. I ain't really too much. I ain't really too much. Can't tell you the truth. Everybody was pointing to the girl when you know how social media is, but people say that the girl was there that night at the party. Can you confirm that? I don't even remember seeing him. Okay, you don't want to speak on it. No, I just ain't remember seeing him. I, I ain't see her at all. Oh, oh, okay, my bad. I didn't hear you. So you didn't see her. No. Nah. And then you got people saying that she she set y'all up. She dropped the location. You can't confirm that. No. Nah. Shit, I'm in the blind just like y'all. Hmm. Did this make you look at life differently? Definitely. It, it it make you like take a step back. You feel me? Be more grateful for what you do got. Be more grateful for the people you got around you. You feel me? It it, it definitely make you. It definitely give you time to think about a lot of stuff. I remember we was on the phone a couple of days ago, and you said it's fucked up that this shit had to happen for people to know that I could actually rap. What? Yeah. It's fucked up that. I had to lose my friend. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, how this drop into the mix? Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> I don't even mean to be laughing, chat. Nigga, I thought we were going to be like, yo, did you cry that you lost your friend? Damn, it was around his birthday. Man, what are your thoughts? What's your best memories of him? It's a damn, it was fucked up that. That nigga had to die that y'all could know I could rap. But nigga, I don't even I still don't know this nigga could rap. What? <laughs> That's crazy. You can't confirm that. Nah. Shit, I'm in the blind just like y'all. Hmm. Did this make you look at life differently? Definitely. It it, it make you like take a step back. You feel me? Be more grateful for what you do got. Be more grateful for the people you got around you. You feel me? It, it it definitely make you. It definitely give you time to think about a lot of stuff. I remember we was on the phone a couple of days ago, and you said it's fucked up that this shit had to happen for people to know that I could actually rap. Yeah, it's fucked up that I had to lose my friend to get notoriety on my music, to get interviews, to get people to reach out to me, and I felt you on that. Definitely. So how's your arm doing? I mean, the healing process is going faster than expected. I done got movement back in my arm, bullet holes hitting up, decent, family. I mean, I still been a lot of pain some days, but other than that, it's just like, shit. Just like having like a bullet arm. You shot eight times, what kind of bullets were they? Did they tell you? No, nah, they didn't tell me. Hmm. But you most definitely taking the music thing serious now. I've been taking music serious. Yeah. Way before this. Wait, am I tripping or like, I'm not seeing his mouth move? Pause. What do you have to say to to all your supporters and everybody who's just been 
everybody that's this period though that's watching this interview like what do you have to say to them about about everything i mean to the supporters it's just like appreciate it thank you you feel me more coming soon feel me? everybody else i don't i, I don't really too much pay attention to all the negative stuff i ain't really got too much say at the end of the day it's just like feel how you feel at the end of the day i'm just keep doing me really Neil, how, how did this affect the city of jacksonville It's boring now. That's all I really can say. Like it's boring now. Fully, fully over the excitement. You feel me? Like, yeah, I, I agree with that. And it, I read a comment of people saying that the Jacksonville scene needed needed. It's like the I'm not gonna say the story's over because it's like I see people like yourself doing doing your thing. The uh, little cracker. I see him him popping off. Um, I'm not gonna say I don't know about the war or whatever. I don't I don't really know about the back and forth. But musically, I definitely see people from Fulio's branch taking off now. It was doing and, anything. Um, but Fulio was the entertaining guy. Like he was the heart of the rap scene, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. You know, and uh I feel like um I feel like everybody pretty much knows that. Yo, this nigga friend died in the same car right next to him. And he said, What do you feel now that you lost the man who died like couple inches from you damn the city boring now <laughs> yeah this is crazy that whether if you like fulio or not fulio was that guy that uh he made it exciting general yeah, surgency that, says the, nothing wrong with him promoting his music I, in, I i guess there's like a tasteful way to kind of do it like like we're looking for the the sadness in the morning a little bit like yo damn i really i really lost somebody who I who I who I loved as a person, who I loved as a brother, more than damn. It's sad that it took that nigga dying for y'all to fuck with my music. Uh, we're just trying to paint him as the villain, like you feel me? Yeah, but we know the real. So, what's your relationships with everybody? Because I know you're a lot younger than fully. All right, how old are you? I'm 19. So I mean, you're a whole generation away from him. He was seven years older than you. What's your relationship with people from the other side of town? Is it the same? Is it the same relationships or is it a little different because you're younger? As far as like the people that um this whole Jacksonville war shit, like where do you stand at with it? <laughs> Man, I'm just a rapper. Cause I and the reason why I asked that too, I'm not I'm not trying to be on no detective shit, but when I when I hear you rap, I hear soul, I hear like I could tell like you're uh I can tell you're when I when I mean good kid, I ain't calling you a square, but I can tell you have a purpose. I can tell you're a really smart guy. Um, I can tell you you can make you could you can make more music than drill. I feel like um, I feel like you have a lot of potential. So like, where do you stand at with everything? Are you one of them type of guys who are like, man, I just want peace. I just want to make music, or is it like, man, this shit gonna sting a little bit? Whatever, I'm, I'm with whatever. I mean, it's just like it, it's really just like this shit. It's like you feel me. I don't tell losses, you feel me? I don't tell losses. So it's just like, really, it's like, I just want to make music, you feel me? I just want to rap, you feel me? But it's just like, I'm just stick to what I know, stick with the niggas I know. I don't really, I don't really too much be invested into the war or whatever they call it. I just, you feel me? I'm just a rapper. Those five people that were arrested, have you, have you even seen these guys before? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so even so when they got arrested you know like, the niggas like you were even confused <laughs> yeah yeah i was like what the fuck is this like but it's just like shit all right because the females like it seems like people knew her though i mean shit they probably did i did good answer good mm. answer are we going to get more music from you for sure for sure I mean, I've been doing it. I ain't got no reason to stop now. Yeah. Do, do you have music with Fulio? Yeah, we got a song we ain't never released. And he believed in you too, didn't he? Definitely. He used to always tell me that. He's been on my ass, like, by music in general. And you and Lil Cracker, y'all are cool, right? Yeah, that's bro. So, I mean, we expecting music from y'all? I mean, we got some shit, but... I don't know. Only time will tell. Amen. 
So basically, y'all are like, y'all got, are y'all cool? Y'all just got like mutual friends. No, no, like we cool. Like you feel me? We got music together already. Like. Yeah, man, y'all gotta come together, man, and and, and for Fulio, man, and, and go on a crazy run. Definitely. I mean, everybody's eyes is on Jacksonville right now. Like, Jacksonville is the rap scene that everybody's paying attention to. And then outside of that, man, you got artists like the Lil Papas and the I can keep going. There's a lot of rappers out there that that people know, but whether if they're ops or not, Jacksonville as a whole right now is, is doing their damn thing. We can all agree to that, right? Yeah, Jacksonville got a lot of talent for sure from everywhere. Man, bro, what do you got to say to the people, man, before we get out of here? You should. Sure? <laughs> Stay in school. Listen to your parents. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. All right. He showed his wounds, so a little trigger warning. If you wanted to see, uh, apparently he showed the bullet wounds in his arm. And, uh, ooh. Oh, man, we back with a new interview, man. Uh, I. This is him showing the wounds. Damn. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, god damn. Of this whole situation, man. Very, very, very sad situation is what I will say. You feel me? Julio, Julio. I'm not gonna lie. The energy you put out into the world is the energy that you will get back. So, you feel me? He always laughed and crack jokes at whenever his ops died or something so him passing you feel me it's the energy he put out it's, it's the same thing you get back of course his ops are ops are gonna laugh and enjoy and pop down julio and you feel me um the people that killed him i'm not gonna lie i've never seen footage so hd clear in my life bro it looked like a movie this is gonna be made into a documentary or a movie bro like how people say plan hits and stuff i've never seen like every single thing with this is just so clear it has to be made to a movie or something they're gonna do some sort of documentary or something on this whole thing like so crazy man like it's just insane well if the whole thing was set up man Like, I have no words, no comments. Um, From the footage I've seen, how HD clearing everything was, bro. Everyone involved, bro, if you're not taking a pee or a snitching, you're, you're doing life. Let's keep it to me. You're doing life. If you're not snitching, you're doing life. Don't take it to trial. You're going to lose. Take the plea or snitch. The girl, she's going to snitch. Everyone else, you have to accept it. Are you going to do life in prison? Or are you gonna snitch? It's your boy Big Act News. I want y'all to think about it. It's your, big, your boy Big Act News. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.